Hey there all craft beer lovers, it's Cider Fanatic here, back with another beer review. Today we're going to, uh, well I think it's Belgium, and uh, we have a bottle of Imperial Stout, Golden Drac, Imperial Stout, or Golden Dragon Imperial Stout, from a brewery van Steenberg. And this is a big monster of a beer guys a big dragon of a beer uh, it's a 330 ml bottle and it clocks in as you can see at 12 percent abv there's the bottle cap really nice looking red and yellow there a little bit of information back there it just said that this is a uh, limited edition brew from the noble line of golden drac beers a beer characterized by its deep dark color and dry delicious bitterness sounds very very nice guys let's give this one a go and see what we are going to get then nice bit of smoke there on the bottle opening let's see what we're going to get so i have heard some positive things about this beer actually but i have never tried it before uh, so I'm eager to give it a little bit of a go. A Belgian stout. Looks really, really cool. As you can see, it's foaming up pretty good. There we go. The whole beer went down into the glass. There we go. Okay, guys, in view then, what do we have then? Approximately. Well, on one and a half finger, I would say, of a tan-colored, fluffy, and yet compact head there. Not jet black, but very dark, brownish uh, stout. Let's see how this one smells. Yeah, so definitely some uh, malts in there. Roasted malts. Yeah, almost a little bit of dark fruit in there. The smell of dark fruit, kind of plums, figs, prunes, dates, raisins. <sighs> yeah, definitely that uh, distinctive fruity, almost kind of vinous smell to it. Yeah. So with that said, guys, cheers. And here's to Gulden Drac from Brewery Van Steenberg. Cheers. Oh, my goodness me, this was definitely different. Oh, gotta go for another one. <clears throat> oh yeah, <clears throat> okay guys, so yeah. Um, up front, very kind of thick, almost syrupy mouthfeel to this one. Definitely uh, loads and loads of dark fruit, I would say. Yeah, as I said, plum figs, raisins, kind of that uh, Belgian candied sugar in there. Yeah, almost a kind of a touch of uh, brown sugar as well. And then it kind of goes into another phase in the taste, with, and it kind of comes into kind of a licorice, almost kind of a licorice taste. Uh, yeah. Very, very different, very, I would say, a very odd beer. Let's go for another one. Yeah, loads of molds. Yeah, kind of a heavy handed bitterness that makes its way into that kind of fruity, dark fruity taste, and then it moves into that kind of uh, licorice aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So, yeah, a little bit boozy as well. And I mean, no surprise there, guys. 12% ABV. No surprises there. Uh, guys, I'm going to be absolutely honest. And I'm always honest in my reviews. This is not really up my alley, unfortunately. I wouldn't really characterize this as an imperial stout. 
this is more kind of a like a Belgian, yeah, like a kind of a Belgian take on an imperial stout, uh, in lack of better words, kind of a uh, Belgian dark ale or something like that. It's very malty, loads and loads of uh, kind of dark uh, fruits in there, licorice, yeah, candy sugar bit of a uh, uh, brown sugar in there not really my type of beer actually and i don't think it's kind of, i don't think this one has any relationship to a classical uh, imperial stout russian imperial stout anything like that unfortunately yeah I do have a lot of malts in there but not really what i expected so uh final sip guys and then we'll rate this beer Yeah, very sweet, very malty, almost kind of a syrupy uh, sweetness. And then you got that licorice uh, feel to it, licorice vibe there. Uh, yeah, not really my thing, guys. Uh, Rating-wise for me, it's a 2 out of 5. That's how it is, guys. Taste is subjective. I know if you like Belgian beers, many people will definitely love this one. Uh, maybe it's Dutch even. I don't know. Uh, I have been uh, saying all uh, all this review that it's Belgian. Maybe it's Dutch. Dutch or Belgian. But it's, it's definitely in the Belgian beer making tradition. I would say that definitely. So yeah, it's a 2 out of 5 guys from Side Fanatic. Uh, have you tried it? Feel free of course to chime in. Thumb me up if you like the review. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Have a good time, guys. See you next time.